When we read the New Testament and we look at the lives of the people in the early church, it is very striking how close everyone was with each other. When we read Acts 2, actually, we read about how the early church gathered every single day together in the temple and in each other's homes and they had fellowship with one another and they broke bread together, they ate together. There's something powerful about joining together with people over a common bond of faith, of what we believe in. I think we try to connect with other people over so many other things all the time, but there's something special about faith, about bonding with them, about connecting with them, about meeting with them over that. When we really challenge ourselves to to dive into what we read in scripture, to really understand what we read in the Bible with other people, it changes us. It changes how we see each other. I think it changes how we view church, what church is. I think it even changes how we view God. I think the majority of people here in Ingersoll CRC know that there's more to being a Christian than just showing up for Sunday worship once a week. But I also think there's a lot of us that are still wondering about what that more actually looks like. The beauty of small groups is that not only is it an opportunity to experience more, it is an opportunity to figure out what that more to following Jesus is with other people. So if you are interested in more, if you are wanting your life of following Jesus to look a little bit more like the lives of those Christians that we see in the book of Acts and that we read about in the New Testament, then sign up for small groups.